very frustrating. We went through the process over and over and over and denied every time. Had a friend that went down, had great success. She, you know, out of the blue, she texts me on Facebook and says, hey, there is another option. And uh, for me, that was hope. You know, I uh, thought that, you know, I was meant to be heavy the rest of my life. Um, so for me, uh, I started doing the research on it. And uh, again, she sent me a thing. She goes, hey, they're coming to Seattle. Uh, it'd be great for you to go up there and gather all the information in and, and take it in. And great, for a, for a living, I'm a truck driver. So not a lot of activity. Um, for that, you know, it was just destined to be, I was gonna be heavy. Uh, so as I stand before you now, um, I honestly don't know what to tell, I mean, it was a blessing. And uh, I had never been out of the country before. So if you're absolutely worried about going out of the country, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> so for me going to the seminar, that was, that was a, I had anxiety built up. Like, am I gonna be able to communicate with these people? Um, I'm allergic to penicillin. One of the things when I got down there, um, again, there's always somebody there and you're gonna build a family as you go down and the group of people that you go with, um, those will be friends for life. Um, it's almost tighter than your normal family. These people can relate to what you went through. Um, one of the facts that I had told me that I knew I had a problem was if you've been overweight for 20 plus years in your life, the chances of you seeing 50 are pretty bad. You talk about stop dead in your tracks at 40 years old with kids. It's emotional. You know, it's, uh, you know, you got to do something. Um, so as you go forward in this process and um, with the surgery, I had zero complications. Well, let me go back. When I was in Seattle, I'm sitting there in the same exact spot I'm sitting at right now. <laughs> I left there with so much energy and so much hope. And then to have it topped off when they pull my name out of the hat and now I'm going for free. Uh -huh. That was huge. That was God. That was God. Thank you. Um, to share a little more, and it's not about boosting myself. The lady sat behind me, I heard this conversation. Um, she'd been saving for three years to have this surgery. I knew right away if my surgery was free, I'm gonna take my money and I'm applying it to that lady because I'm gonna make it happen for her too. <laughs> when I told Ron, he just looked at me like, are you serious? You know, it's, it's hope because I didn't go to win a surgery. I went there for information. I had made my mind up, I was going. And um, people ask me all the time, would you do it again? I would do it in a heartbeat. Uh, the ladies that I met, one lady, she was a nurse who, this is what her livelihood was, you know, and she was based and she goes, I see this all the time. She goes, so for me to go out of the country and have this done was a no brainer. Um, the quality of service you get from when you hit the ground in Mexico or in San Diego to there and have the surgery and the staff is great. Um, and they nailed it. It's almost like a family when you get down there. Um, if you don't let it all go in, let it all sink in. Um, it's an experience. It is a journey. That's the word you're going to hear a ton. It is a journey. It's not short term. Um, one of the guys, I jump around a lot, so you got to follow me. <laughs> when I went to Seattle, there was a gentleman that stood up there with his wife. He, as I look back now, explained it to a T. NBC is giving you a tool. 
Okay, it's not a quick fix. It's not something we swallow and bang, we wake up the next day and we're gonna be skinny. Okay, it's a tool. If you don't follow through with what they're telling you in the way to change your lifestyle, it's not gonna work. You know, it, it's not gonna work. Um, and as you go through the process, you're still going to, as you get comfortable, um, you don't, for me personally, I didn't want to resort back to those old habits, um, but the temptation is still there. Through all the weight loss that you're losing, um, you're going through a lot of psychological stuff too. Because as I stand in front of you right now, um, before in our houses, we only had mirrors from here and above, okay? As a heavy person, you don't need to be reminded that you're heavy. Every day you walk out into the world, trust me, people are gonna tell you that you're overweight. Um, I'm happy to say now at my house, I have a full length mirror. Sometimes I look in that mirror and I don't see what you guys see right now. Still psychological, I still gotta get through it. Um, Health wise, I'm great. I went back to the doctor um, and I had heard a question about care back here after you've had the surgery. Just a note, my doctor pulled me off to the side after rejection, after rejection, after rejection, took off her white jacket, said to me, there is this other alternative. And she shared it with me. And she goes, I have two ladies who had went down and the success rate is great. Um, some you might think of. Everything happens for a reason. You guys are all here today for a reason. Um, as Americans, I notice that we buy stuff to make ourselves feel good. Okay, if you're gonna invest any amount of money, invest it in yourself. Because without you, there is nothing, there's no new car, there's no new, um, without people like in Mexico Bariatric Center, there's a lot of people walking around in a daze and they fall back to food as their comfort. Um, that's why the obesity rate is so high. The kids, it's so much easier to go to McDonald's and grab something to eat rather than go and cook what you need to be eating. Um, that slide is still on the show about the 400 calories of vegetables. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's pretty tough to do. Before, after, um, as you go through the process, you, you're less than $5,000 leaving from here because I live here. Um, the other thing I have not been asked, I knew that I needed to, when I went down and did the surgery, I had made my mind up that day. I'm not gonna fail and I'm gonna try to get convinced Ron to come back to Portland. Because again, remember I traveled to Seattle for this. Um, I had enough friends after I started to drop weight that were asking me, and a few of them are in the room, I'm not gonna ask you to raise your hand, but there is nothing that makes you feel good when you have close friends who are concerned and have that same road that you were on, but didn't know what way to take, you as a person that went through it, you have to step up. Share what you do. So if you're a past um, patient here, I encourage you to come up here and stand. Um, like I said, invest in yourself. One of the things I am gonna share, and we did send some pictures and it'll cycle through here and you'll see exactly what I looked like exactly almost a year ago. Um, invest in yourself. I have a shirt I still wear. I do not want to get rid of it. I'm not going to plug uh, Reebok, but they come out with the best shirt. And it says, commit to it. If you commit to it, it's going to work. Okay, you have to put some effort in them. Um, one of the things I say to myself all the time, if I'm going to cheat, I'm only cheating on myself. Look in the mirror, 
before you think about going to McDonald's, I'm going to give you the bad news. If you go to McDonald's and try it, you're going to get sick. Yes. It's not going to work. <laughs> but that's one of the games you have to play with yourself. But remember, look in the mirror. You, you're only going to cheat yourself. Um, I'm going to stick around if anybody has any questions. Um, the other thing I want to brought up, what's great about this, I had friends that had surgery in the United States, and I'm not trying to knock the United States. They don't set you up to succeed. These guys have a Facebook page for support. These people have all been through it or they're patients who are about to go through it. Share and encourage. It's very big. Um, <coughs> there's so much going through my brain right now. At a year ago, standing in Seattle, Washington, knowing I was getting ready to take a, a journey of not knowing where I was gonna end up. Um, but again, it's not very often, I'm gonna leave this in closing. It's not very often that you're sitting in a hotel in Tijuana, Mexico <laughs> on your last night and you are ready to go to get back home, to get your journey started. And your phone rings and nobody else knows you're down there. And you pick up the phone and who's on the other line but this guy. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing right now? I'm resting. I'm down in the lobby. You want to come down and talk to me? I was floored. I don't know very many CEOs. They're going to come down and see exactly how everything went. And at that point, I give testimony. I'm sitting in Mexico giving testimony. It's raw. Okay, it, there's a lot going through at that point. But again, if I can leave you with one thing, invest in yourself. You have family members, you have a spouse, you have kids. You've got to do it. There is hope. These guys are here, you know, sign up. It's not a decision you have to make right away, but think about it, take in the information. And uh, I want to thank you guys for hearing me ramble up here for a while. So I don't know if you want to turn it over to someone else. Yes. Thank you.